Morocco is still raiding us. Manufacturers have spawned and we didn't get it, unfortunate. Do we have them? Ah, oh, we have lots of them too. That is definitely a bummer. Anyways, let's uh, pop this guy here, which will give us 20% spread, I think it said. Oh, 10% spread and 10% embracement costs, which is not bad. We also can pair that up with this guy here. And then what you do, since we just, um, let's uh, get rid of you. Just consecrate a couple of Metropolitans and boom, there you go. Back up to 100, don't even need to worry about it. We could get the, um, the clergy privilege that gives you patriarch authority, but uh, not at the cost of um, absolutism, not worth IMO. We also need to get these guys upgraded all the way, which will give us 20% advisor cost, which is really, really strong. And with the uh, discount that we got, we can upgrade it pretty cheap. Uh, the innovativeness is nice, but uh, I'd rather have the money to BH. So Georgia still has the disputed succession. Oh, of course. Oh, of course. You know what? I'll take the money. And then next month, we can upgrade you again. Use our manpower because we're gaining plenty of it. I'm not worried about being a little low. Still at 130 and we have 20%. Look at that. Look how cheap these guys are going to be now. Level 5, he's half off. 18, 8, 18 ducats a month for 5 mana. And a free stability. Holy crap. Holy crap. Uh, one second there. My bad. Zlevik was messaging me. Build these guys up all the time. Very strong. Um, I don't care. They can lose a little bit of loyalty. No big deal at all. So. AE is starting to tick down over here. It's time to start considering when we want to get to war with France. I think our truce isn't up till 55. So we got some time. Just continue to let our uh, stuff tick down there. Ideally, we embrace institution ASAP. We can actually do it right now. But uh, we'll let it spread to a few of our other higher dev provinces. Let's get these guys over here. Suppress rebels because we're going to have a bunch of them over here. Fort line looking pretty good. We actually should upgrade a few of these forts. That's expensive, man. But yeah, upgrading forts, just preventing people from sieging me down. I think it's going to save me a lot of sanity and a lot of devastation. So let's do it. No big deal. Preferably defensive border forts like these guys here. These are both defensive. This is woods, I believe. And this one here is mountains. So this fort right here, very good fort. Always worth sticking with. Here we go. It raises how much money we spend on it, but it also saves you a lot of army tradition if you upgrade your forts. So that's the uh, the trade off there. Como also very good fort. These this fort right here, very good fort. This one here is also hills, if I recall. Yeah, very good. So any and all defensive forts need to get upgraded. Also border forts in general. This will basically make it so they just can't get through our defenses, which is awesome. I also need to get this guy upgraded to level 5 ASAP as well. So how is our... 61. What is... As we're coring our stuff up... It would be smart for us to get a um, diplomat, diplo rep guy, but the trade is so good, man. All that money coming in. Mm. I think I'll stick with the trade income. There you go. Upgrade you. Upgrade the one in Navarra as well, because that's mountains as well. And um, that's probably good. We are maxed out on admin mana. Sag. Get a little bit of money there. I guess we're going to do a little bit of admin mana debbing. Hmm. We'll see which ones would be good here. Let's do it in like the Po Valley. Still, eh, not 60 dev, unfortunately. You just got to hope you can get some events that are going to give them some. Upgrade our manpower as well while we're here. And then our Diplo. There you go. More manpower, please. We are now gaining... Mm, that doesn't look right. That's about how much we were gaining before, but our max is 445. Anybody keeping track of where we were at? 
manpower dev is very strong so georgia got an error sadly so we don't have diplo ideas so we'll lose a stab if we uh, do it so one nice way to do this is to ally them and then turn around and immediately break your alliance which will upset them quite quite deeply spy network construction or prestige i'll just take the prestige it's fine and then you do it again it costs some time but no big deal patriarch authority for admin mana that is totally fine with me and then break it off again he's gonna be very upset and uh then we'll also say you know what you guys suck and then once they're below uh, minus 50 oftentimes they were willing to break the royal marriage privateer efficiency or prestige i'll take the privateer efficiency that's fine we're still looking pretty good from privateering them up there sure but honest you can have access convert all these provinces over here i'm not adding anything to the trade company unless it's in the unless it's in the correct faith it's just too good to not you know so let's take a look at our monuments to see if there's anything else that we need to be considering so hagia sophia will actually give patriarch authority yearly which is great once we get that um i think the mausoleum at halicarnassus is pretty good as well this one gives admin advisor costs as well so i'm going to upgrade this for them as far as i know when you integrate vassals peacefully you uh they keep their level which is really useful and we want to use our upgrade cost uh well we have it so we'll do that another 20 percent advisor cost let's uh have you guys suppress over here Ooh, furnaces do we have any coal that's spawned yet no coal has spawned yet coal is uh these provinces with the blue strikes through it so we don't need it do a couple of admin clicks whatever man i don't i don't care i can't be bothered continue converting really some good good dev over here in kurdistan so this one used to give like 10% tech cost, 5%. It's still pretty good. It's still worth investing into, I think. I mean, there's no reason not to. There's no downside to it except for spending money and but uh, institution spread is pretty good as well. And embracement cost. We already maxed out on these guys? We are. Hmm. I'll take the money. That'll allow us to embrace institution soon. I'll uh, take the prestige. As it spreads a little bit more, we'll make it a little bit cheaper. And we're almost there. And I love guns, drums, and steel, man. Love it. How long until... Let's see here. Um, When is that... Ev when does this wear off for one? 54. So we're going to integrate Byzantium quite quickly here. Trading in paper. Um, Where is it here? Increase serfdom, huh? That'll be over soon as well. I'm looking for the modifier for... Is it gone already? And I just missed it? Oh, it is gone. Okay. Well, that's okay then. I was going to say, maybe we want to upgrade that before we embrace institution, but we can just embrace institution next month. Actually, what does it give us? Goods produced? Uh, yes, please. Yes, please. Yes, please. Uh... Let's take a look at this. Two set, 280 roughly income from trade. So that went up by 10. Went up by 10. Very good. Just like that, our trade income goes up. Not bad. Uh, you know what? <laughs> it's pretty cheap as well. I'm just going to take it. Who cares? Being ahead on admin is fine. Diplomana. Yes, please. I will take it. Anytime you can get free mana, you might as well. I mean, worst case scenario, you what? Dev with it? It's like any and all dev is good right i want to get this one converted that way we can um add it to the trade company here. i'll just take the prestige i don't care flavor events are fine <laughs> true so these guys is up next month next year december of next year they're allied to scotland and congo big whoop so i do have an army down here or uh some land down there so i think it might be my best interest 
These guys are hunting pirates. I don't think we need to be doing that anymore. Morocco doesn't have range. So let's get you guys over there. Where is my big old fleet here? They're just chilling out here. So let's have these guys head over here. They will handle the Congo. I, we must have stolen that. This land. Yeah, we must have stolen it from France in the war. Okay. These rebels are on a fort, which is good. Uh, let's get a general over there. Minimize our losses, you know, no reason not to. And so upgrading these two guys ASAP is going to be in my best interest here. We don't need to be improving with you anymore. Let us make sure he's loyal. So he's super loyal. Yoink some dev. Still loyal enough. Yoink some dev. Pay off his debt. <laughs> Yoink. There you go. And uh, now... It'll be done in 57. And our uh, max absolutism has gone up. Very good. I'll take the prestige again. Why not? And since we have embraced institution, we don't need this anymore. So let's go with AE impact and uh, improve relations. Today is a day to celebrate. Very good. Um, I will go ahead and placate them and do that. You, you get those events if you have uh, level three monuments, BT dubs. Placate again. November 57. Not bad. Rebel uprising in Iraqi land. So Mosul, I assume? No, it'd be in Tikrit. Right? Is that the that's the one that's Iraqi culture? Or Mashriki? Yeah, okay. Let's just have them come down there. It's farmland. Supply limit of 67. That's uh, quite the supply limit down there. Let's just uh, provoke them. Get these guys back over here and handle his rebels. And we're just waiting on December so we can attack France. Our income has actually been hurt a bit because we're not steering or not taking his trade power anymore. It's fine. Once we integrate him, we'll be able to add this to the trade company and that'll be really good for us. We don't have any of this stated. So we can actually trade company this, and I will. I can also trade company Ragusa, and I will. Trade company Durazo, which I will. I don't think that's going to give us the 50 we need, though. Let's take a look here. Vulcan company? Yeah. Okay. So this one right here gives you trade power. Out of there. Extra trade influence. There we go. Very close, actually. And then we just upgrade these guys. Well, if they have high enough dev. It's 10 now, right? We just need a little more money. And uh, that should be enough. There we go. Extra merchant, just like that. Easy peasy, right? Not bad at all. Um, As far as where we steer from, I don't know. Let's steer from down here. Well, are we steering from the Cote d'Ivoire? We are not. Really? We don't have much trade power over here. But I will do it. I have to wait till next month. Let's make sure that this is in our trade company. Oh my gosh, it's not. There you go. Transfer with you. And uh, we'll also upgrade this. So it'll give us a little bit more money there. And we'll steer towards Sevilla. Oh yes. More money, please. There's a lot of min-max you can be doing with the trade system in uh, EU4. So... Let's see here. It looks like Province upgraded all the important ones. Very good. A couple over here that can be upgraded. We have lots of trade company trade power already. How about in our vassals lands? Yeah, let's upgrade these guys. Upgrade them in all of our trade companies as well. Uh, like, yeah, we can get rid of the church there. We definitely don't need that. Nobility loyalty sounds good, actually. That will allow me to... You want crown land, so let's do that. We're up to 80 crown land now. Very good. I'm kind of giving up on the idea of uh, doing this for now. It's fine. So let's build you here when we can afford it. Wow, these are expensive. 
need to get economic ideas also as far as this goes this is about as good as it's gonna get we could maybe embrace a couple cultures but it's fine these three over here the ones that promise i took before i got it are the ones that actually matter anything other than that is like eh, it's fine and not even that not even really fine to be honest they're kind of bad so let us dev you a couple of times use admin and then upgrade you and then we'll build this guy here as well i'll help us steer a bit more trade here and there all good things and next month we attack the french truces are up before he joins any coalition cleansing of the heresy is key might be worth co-belligerent in congo just kidding <laughs> psych let's have these guys come down here nope onto the fort with a new general a three four is fine and let's get you guys over here wow he's got like no good forts man this is gonna be easy easy peasy indeed and let's get another general a two two three one you're not very good but you'll do so this army we'll just keep them down here to um to handle that we'll have our navy head up here with an admiral of course oh the province fan club is still alive giant walking carpet what all right promise the province fan club is still alive man i can't believe that i built that thing you know a hundred years ago let's actually see here is our navy upgraded yeah praise promise he's been keeping it upgraded so let's uh, come over here and beat up on the french navy no reason not to and they're probably fleeing up here so let's get up there actually don't know where they went the brits are invading mali imagine that the colonizers filthy filthy and look at this though 37 day siege ticks on a level six fort 26 26 days siege ticks on a level two fort something tells me we win the base race right don't even need to fight them we don't even need to i don't care it's fine though we may end up needing to go up and just siege down scotland just to get them out of the war so let's get a monthly tick here monthly repair so i actually think that in dot point five they nerfed galleys so heavies are now the meta again for open seas correct me if i'm wrong i just uh briefly skimmed over the um the patch notes but i do believe they said galleys will now do better in coasts yes okay wait a minute oh so inland seas do a hundred percent more damage coasts do 50. interesting okay so galleys are if anything they buffed galleys by the looks of it okay well that's awesome that is literally crazy i okay yeah obviously we gotta wipe out the little little stack there if we can wipe out their galley fleet we have to right so these guys down here are getting siege down as well nice defensiveness you got there these guys will get uh, carpet siege down over here because he has like no forts there you go we just absolutely dismantled their navy and we even get the repair all right let's pull these guys back in over here Apparently, I was corrected in my Anglophile campaign. This this province here is pronounced like shart. 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 <laughs> my inner 15-year-old giggled when I got a bunch of comments like that. Though like, actually it's pronounced like shart. I'm like, ooh, okay. Well I can I can say that. I can say shart. You silly French people with your outrageous accents. That's a Monty Python reference if you guys don't get that. <laughs> of course of course i'm french why do you think i have this outrageous accent i fought in your general direction monty python were the goat man the goat can't convince me otherwise we'll siege down paris and uh full occupy him it's a show superiority war so i'm gonna have to fight his armies if i want ticking war score but uh it's all good i just want to win this siege and then piece these guys out we've won the siege of paris Carpet Siege, Carpet Siege, Carpet Siege. Oh my gosh. Like, look at this. This is why you upgrade your mountain forts. This is why you upgrade. This is why it's good that the AI doesn't. <laughs> Almost a year. And he's on minus 42%. Let's 
Those are some numbers that I can live with. He's also just taking a bunch of attrition over here. Look at that. 7,000 men he's lost to attrition. And uh, we'll car besiege down the rest of this as well. There we go. Get those guys full occupied. And we'll head down while we'll I path that stack. That might be his whole army. No, it's not, but it's a large portion of them. There we go. We won that one. I just want to peace out Congo. Maybe annul his alliance. Hey, great projects upgrade costs. I don't think we need that. Because I don't think we'll get our money's worth for that. So. We only have like two more great projects to upgrade that I'm aware of, right? Alhambra is upgraded. I want this one as well because this is actually Carter's pretty strong now. 15% global trade power is... Uh, it's not to be scoffed at. St. Peter's Basilica is Catholic. Yeah, yeah, that's not useful for us. This one, this one. Hagia Sophia we want to upgrade as well. Tolerance of the True Faith is basically one national unrest modifier. We already have this one upgraded, which is giving us 5% tech and 20% advisors. And this one we'll have to upgrade, which will give us another 20% advisor cost. We'll be able to run really cheap level 5 advisors. It's going to be really good. Okay, let's have these guys grouped up in a big mega stack. And prepare to get down to beat up on uh, these guys. So we're up to... We're 46. We still don't have an heir. Ooh, yikes. I'll just leave his rebels. Actually, these rebels are going to be my rebels. We'll see. Let's uh, attack these guys. Ideally, I don't... I'm going to attack them in the woods. It's fine. I don't care. Where are they going to flee? To Bordeaux? And then I'll just wipe them out there. We're going to take a little bit heavier losses than we'd like, but... It's not a big deal. So that's the stack wipe on his army. We have permanent claims on all this stuff down here, so I'll take everything that I can. You gotta remember, AE is gonna be quite limiting. We could release a Gaskin vassal. Matter of fact, I think I'm gonna do that. I will take one province that we can release Gascony from. And we will reconquest all of his cores from him, which will be quite a few. Georgia never broke that royal marriage with us, really. You guys really suck. Break off royal marriage, please. Um, oh, that, I don't care. So let's take Foy or however this is pronounced because then we can release Gascony. And then I'll take everything else that I have claims on. So this is, man, Gascony's got a lot of cores. Okay, maybe we actually do something like this. Release him from one province over here, and then we can reconquest all of this for him. Yep. Okay. Not this one. AE is totally manageable. We'll have a um, province there that we can release a vassal from. And this actually lets our truce be a little bit shorter. So I'm going to go with that. We're going to release Gascony. He's going to be Catholic. Obviously, we're not going to let that let that slide. He is... Well, since he's a heathen or a heretic, he's going to be a little upset with me. So let's influence him. Let's convert, which will actually boost his relations significantly. And um, I'm not going to march him. We could march him, but I'm not going to. Let us yoink the dev here. Again, the reason why you do this is because it makes it way cheaper to core it, as well as lowers your cost for governing it, which is nice. And now you can see he's got cores and all this. We'll be able to take all of that for essentially free in the next war with the with these guys. Um, we may actually be able to wait for imperialism. No, not quite. So let's upgrade the Parthenon here next month. And we're almost done integrating these guys, which is good. Oh, it's 5,000 again. Oopsies. Might have to wait till we integrate him. Ooh, I like trade. Okay, they break royal marriage, which is good. Yeah, this is fine. And we're going to integrate Byzantium very soon, which is going to allow us to get lots more trade power. Integration is a slow process indeed. How about it? Now, yes, I know. I know. I know. A lot of people are going to want me to core this up. I'm not going to. I'm not going to. I ain't going to do it. 
I'm gonna add all of this that is already the correct religion to our trade company here. We will also spend a couple of monies on upping this. Uh, steering might be better. Now let's just go with trade power since we have almost 100% of the clay over here. Well, we do actually. Upgrade you and you. Upgrade you and you. Upgrade you and you. You and you. And um, also need to upgrade the centers of trade. That will get us an extra merchant over here in the Anatolia. As well as the income from our trade. So we're at 255, 275. Not bad, right? Upgrade. Oh, this one's not high enough dev. So admin dev is fine. Next merchant will go. Crimea might be good. I thought I had one down here, but apparently not. Did I not? Yeah, let's try steering from Crimea. So we're steering 0.6 and we're making 275. Yeah, not bad. That's a really solid boost to our economy there. And uh, again, Upgrade. You guys are already there. This guy is orthodox now, so we can add you as well. Monopolize, monopolize. Okay, not bad. Not bad at all. Let's get these uh, heavy ships all grouped up as well. What's going on over here? These are transports and a galley, huh? Let's have those guys group up over here and have these guys group up over here. However, you guys will go and uh, privateer the English Channel. Last we looked, the um, they were making 80-something. So, yeah, the Brits are getting rich, man. Brits are getting quite rich. That's really interesting, that change that they made about the uh, inland seas. Uh, obviously, I'm not going to lose trade efficiency if I can avoid it. Don't need to be forced marching. Just suppress rebels. What the heck kind of name is that? You see this dude's name? Ficklemont? That's kind of cool, actually. I kind of like that. And then, so... Time to go to war with Britain. We now have a, a holy war. Well, we might actually border his colonies somewhere, I guess. Well, but uh, I don't know. Do we? Maybe not. But anyways, we can uh, holy war him. He'll call in Australia, Bohemia, Netherlands, Potterborn, Onsebrook. So that's actually quite the uh, beefy group that they've got there. But I'll be able to uh, reconquest that for him. And I'll probably just give that one to Gascony as well. So I don't have to pay for it. Or we'll take it. I don't know. I do think... Okay, Bordeaux is a trade company over here. <laughs> or not a trade company, but a center of trade. I don't know. Let's upgrade you a couple times. And I'm spending my admin dev just because... I, It's fine. It's good. But yeah, you can see here we got an additional 10% advisor cost. So now we're... Hmm. Wait, what? Does this need to be an estate? Ah, Greek has to be an accepted culture. Well... Let's see here. Unfortunate. Um, so this is actually stated here. I might be able to accept it in Greek culture. Let's see here. I can. <laughs> I, that's, that might be such a waste, but I'm going to do it anyways. Ethiopia is uh, attacking the Mams. That's fine. I'll head on down. Do my part. That's actually really funny that I just accepted Greek culture specifically for 10% advisor cost. But uh, hey, that's going to save me a lot of money. And money means we can build more buildings to upgrade our stuff, right? Let's uh, upgrade you. Oh, we're at war, right? Oopsies. That's fine. This is fine. Our Navy is looking incredibly strong. Look at that. Mm. Get them over here in Napoli. Lose some sailors to assert our dominance. There we go. Look at those heavies. Pr 
protecting trade in Alexandria, protecting trade in Constantinople. Let's just get these little navies grouped up together here. Let's have you guys privateer the English Channel. Have we hurt his income at all? Now he's up to 100. We do have a presence here. We are hurting his income. I guarantee it. Minus 11, almost 12% for privateering. That's understandable. Uh-uh. Oh, there we go. I misread that. We can get rid of you as well. Here's the, uh, the Byzantine Navy. Let's just get rid of them. It's fine. We can, I'd rather have the heavies instead, to be honest with you. We have a fifth merchant now. The Pentarchy. Nah, -uh, wait, what? Oh, it's a trigger modifier. Right, I forgot about this one. Owns Rome, Constantinople, Antioch, Jerusalem, and uh, Alexandria. And they're all Orthodox. That is really cool. I totally forgot about that modifier. Thanks for reminding me, game. <laughs> yeah, so attacking them for... Maybe we just do, like, a conquest war instead. Because I only want to take these two claims. Let's have you guys go home at war as well, so we're not going to die. Hopefully, they're still applying their pressure. They are. Very good. Byzantium loses all their cores and Greece comes up. That's fine. I don't care because I integrated them. We also need to eventually break off his, um, his, uh, whatchamacallit, vassalization. Let's take a look at what exactly we need for the Roman Empire because we're going to need to start pushing for that if we really want to. We could attack Spain for cleansing of the heresy. Portugal as well. Actually, I think I'd rather attack Portugal because that will allow me to, um, get the um that guy over here which would be really strong we need fez as well i might be able to threaten him for that though i think it would be in our best interest to just attack him and like full annex him because why not okay so let's have these guys they're we're not suppressing any rebels over here all right so let's get these guys over here let's have these guys march over here have these guys march down here this is essentially a speed five war, as far as I'm concerned. Oh, right. We declared war on Portugal. Let's have you guys head over there with our best general. Boat bomb them. Ah, we're not going to make it in time, sadly. Oh, we did make it in time. Nice. National unrest advisor for half off. Elena Corono Piscopia. I don't know how to pronounce that. Yeah, that sounds great. I mean, we don't need we don't need that. Um, we don't need. Um, where's she at here? Here she is. Look at that. <laughs> I <laughs> level five advisors for sixteen and a half ducats a month. That's pretty good right there. These guys are suiciding? Okay. Let's get over onto Lisboa. Head on down to the Algarve. Hang out with our with our British friends down there. He's sieging down Mosul. Kind of annoying. Don't care though. Not particularly. I'm holding on to this one. We're going to end up using this for our war with the Brits because the Brits are going to punch hard. I guarantee you they're going to punch hard. Let's take a look at their army quality here um rivals as well land maintenance is down about 1.5 so that would put them at about 5.9 so better morale than i have something to keep in mind look at this giant navy the italian navy speaking of actually let's take a look at the british navy because we're going to need to build up if we want to uh compete oh, okay Barring any uh, conflict with the wooden wall, we're actually looking pretty good for that. So let's get you guys over here, get you guys over here.
a huge special thanks to my top July patrons, Junk Binary, Mr. McFlu, Angelic, Bouncer Steve, Sprocket, Fat Man on Deck, Jay Eden, Jay Clampett, Jay Kapchinski, M. Dressel, R. Lawrence, R. Epp, J. Baller, Lon Damon, Draco Arhavis, Orbit, Jankopotamus, P. Jarden, A. Vickman, Arkenglad, Harry, A. Murado, J. Cutchell, N. Winkler, R.J. Pilant, and many more. I appreciate you guys very much.